Creating layers is one of Nux's most slept on features. Layers allow you to have a Nux project that extends another one, inheriting things like components, middleware, server outs, configuration, and more. The only configuration we need to add is an extends property to our Nux config, and now all of these will be available in our app. Now the important question, when is this useful? Two of the most common use cases are theming, because layers inherit components, so you can easily share a component library for your brand. And the second one is standardized configuration. You can have your favorite project set up, all configured in a base layer. Then this Nux config will be applied here. And if we need to overwrite anything, everything we add from a layer can be overwritten inside of our end project. And creating a layer is easy. Unlike writing a Nux module, you don't have to learn a special syntax to create a layer. Once you have a Nux project, you can have another one either extend it locally using a relative path, distribute a layer as an NPM package, or my favorite, you can use a Git repo. The Docus theme, which is the standard across the Nux docs, is probably one of the best examples of layers. It has a default configuration with modules like Nux content, a bunch of components, that are then used to create layouts, and also a bunch of other stuff to add some cool features. Since all of this functionality is here, this means that all of the sites that use Docus just have to create a Nux config, extend Docus, and then make a content folder with all their markdown. All the behind the scenes that configure Nux content, the theming, the search functionality is all handled in this layer. So if we want to add new features, we just have to add it once and all of the sites will be affected. So the next time you find yourself writing the same code in five different projects, maybe Nux layers can be the solution you're looking for.